Welcome to our new video. I'm Jasper from Golden Detector Company in Abu Dhabi, UAE. The new device from OKM Germany for detection of gold treasure, relics, voids, and tunnel. The Delta Ranger Professional with a great technology of long-range and ground scanner. Delta Ranger is perfect equipment for explorations of unknown terrain to find places for successful treasure hunting. And Delta Ranger includes six search mode for treasure hunting exploration. All in this table are the parts and accessories for the Delta Ranger Professional. So we have this main unit. On the handle, there is a trigger button. And there is a knob for the calibration. We have this uh, sensor for this uh, ionic and bionic stream. Sensor for the thermoscan and thermostream. Sensor for the magnetometer and 3D ground scanner or 3D ground scan. Laptop powered by 3D Visualizer Studio. USB drive inside is the 3D Visualizer Studio software. We have Android phone attached to the main unit. Wireless headphone, chargers, and this is the waterproof and shockproof case. And we have this catalog and warranty card. And lastly, gold detector warranty card. I'm going to discuss now the six search mode for the Delta Ranger Professional. So first, we have this uh, Bionic Stream. So Bionic Stream is a detection of freshly hidden gold objects. And we have this uh, Ionic Stream. Ionic Stream uh, used for uh, detection of gold objects that have been buried for a long time under the ground. And we have this Magnetometer. Magnetometer is used to detect unwanted metals and small metal objects like nails, screws, and wires made of ferrous metals such as iron, nickel, and cobalt close to the surface. So magnetometer is used before performing 3D ground scan. And next, we have this uh, 3D ground scan. So uh, 3D ground scan is uh, used uh, to get a detailed visualization of underground structures and potential target objects and can be analyzed by Visualizer 3D Studio. Now we're going to use the 3D Ground Scan in Delta Ranger Professional. So let's choose 3D Ground Scan. And here you can choose uh, Default and Customize. So let's choose this uh, Default. So as you can see, uh, the settings is automatic for the field length. And Impulse Mode is automatic and parallel. So now let's start scanning. Now we're going to start the scanning. But first, this sensor should be at least 10 cm from the ground. This is the image captured in 3D ground scan. So you can view it in 3D and in 2D display. So uh, use the 3D Visualizer Studio to analyze the data and to know the size of the target and the depth of the target. This is the thermostream mode. So uh, thermostream mode uh, can be used in uh, horizontal and vertical orientation. So uh, as you can see here uh, on the right side, there is uh, the degree or uh, degree Celsius. So it's giving temperature. On the left side, you can turn on the laser in 5 seconds. So uh, back again on the right side, uh, so uh, if the device is giving a high temperature, meaning the device is detecting only uh, solid wall all or solid ground. And if the device is giving a uh, lower than the surroundings uh, temperature, meaning the device is detecting a cavity or a voids or tunnel or cave under the ground or on the wall. This is the thermoscan. So thermoscan is uh, used in horizontal and vertical orientation. So uh, as you can see, this uh, thermoscan can uh, detect uh, hidden room, space, caves, or tunnel. So uh, behind the wall or under the ground. So uh, now you can view this also in uh, 3D Visualizer Studio after scanning the area or the wall. Uh, for example, so uh, there's a trigger button here. So as you can see, we will uh, choose this one. So uh, there's a default and customize. So let's choose default. Then you can see all the settings that you made. And... Let's go there. So, uh, automatic for the field length. Impulse mode is automatic also. And the scan mode is parallel. So, just go down there. Press this one. And then, you have to press this trigger button to start the scanning. For example, uh, this is the wall. So, uh, by pressing the trigger button to scan. So, now again, go back again. So, it's parallel from the bottom. One more. So after that, uh, finishing the scanning, just press this one and then press OK or check the uh, icon. 
And then uh, remember, all automatic, so you don't have to do it. Uh, just uh, saving files. And then uh, there is the image captured. And then uh, you can analyze the data in uh, the full data in the 3D Visualizer Studio. This is the Bionic Stream. So Bionic Stream is used in horizontal orientation. And then uh, first you have to calibrate it before using this Bionic Stream. So uh, there's an electrode here on the handle. So your uh, palm should uh, and your finger should hold it the electrodes and then there's a knob here for adjusting or adjustment so uh, now let's go inside this bionic stream and then uh, you can see you can uh, calibrate it so near to uh, 254 uh, value uh, wait for three seconds before pressing the check button or check icon so just stop it then you're ready to scan the area so uh, this uh, bionic stream can detect all kinds of metal and uh, for uh, freshly uh, hidden gold objects so uh, here on the left side, there is a uh, uh, icon here for the laser for 5 seconds. And then uh, on the left side again, there is a cursor option. You can change the cursor by pressing it. And on the right side, if you want to calibrate again the Bionic Stream. This is the Ionic Stream. So Ionic Stream is used in horizontal orientation. But first, you have to uh, calibrate it. Like uh, for example, you want only the detection of this uh, gold bracelet. So, uh, just scan this gold bracelet and then it will uh, detect only uh, the content of this gold bracelet. But uh, first, it should be at least uh, 10 cm away from the sensor, this gold bracelet. So, uh, for example, we will gonna scan this uh, gold bracelet. Just go inside. And then, press the trigger button to scan this at least 10 cm. So after um, scanning this gold bracelet, you can do this uh, detection for the content of the gold bracelet only. So uh, here on the left, there is a uh, icon for this uh, laser for 5 seconds. And then there is a uh, changeable uh, cursor. And then if you want to calibrate it again on the right side. So this Ionic Stream is used in uh, detection of uh, gold objects that have been buried for a long time. This is the magnetometer mode. So this is used in vertical and horizontal orientation. So uh, this is used in removing the unwanted metal before using the 3D ground scanner or 3D ground scan. So uh, let's go inside. So this is the view for the magnetometer. So meaning uh, if the device is uh, giving a color blue or going down, meaning the device is detecting a negative magnetic pole of ferrous metal. So if it is going up and giving a color red, so, meaning the device is giving a positive magnetic pole of ferrous metal. And if it is like this color green only, so meaning uh, the device is detecting or not detecting any ferrous metal. So, same as on the, on the magnetometer or the pointer view. For more information of the Delta Ranger Professional Device, you can contact us in our company number, available in WhatsApp, Viber, and Botim.